How are you doing? This is Carlisle Speaks Wall Street, and we're going over Linux commands. I'm running under Ubuntu, and today's command is ls. ls is how you get a directory listing of files and directories wherever you are. So right now we are in this particular directory, pwd, present working directory. We're in home Carlisle. So what is in home Carlisle? What is in my home? So we can do an ls, and that'll show us what's here. We see the files, and we see the directories. Directories in blue, files in green. Okay, this is fine, but uh, what if you want to know some more information about what's here? Because this is just telling me file names and uh, distinguishing between files and directories. Well, if you want more details, another common option, we're going to go through a couple of options, is dash l. Very popular option because it gives you a lot of details about what you're looking at. So again, we can see directories in blue, files in green. We can also tell that by here, the D for directory, the dash for files. And we see listing from left to right, we see the permissions here. So read, write permissions for the owner. And we see read and write permissions for the group. And then for everybody else, we see read permissions only. We see that uh, this is the owner of the file and the group. We see the file, the size of the file in uh, bytes. And then we also see the date. Now, notice that actually we can't see this example here. But when these, when these files or directories become old, instead of seeing the month and day, we're going to just see, and the time, we're actually going to just see the year. So we see month and day and year. All right, so moving along, let's look at some other details here. Uh, let's see. So another, another option that we can look at is ls-r, which I use a lot. You can actually combine these together, by the way, and I'll show you how that works. So ls-l, right? So we do ls-l. We get the same thing that we just have here, but we do ls-lr. We can get the same listing, but it's going to be in reverse order that it was in previously. Now, one thing to note here is, and let's actually scroll up so you can see, before it began with desk, desk dead letter, desk letter, what am I, I'm confusing desk and dead, anyway, so before it began with dead letter, now it ends with dead letter. Now, one thing to, to note here is that this is just, just sorted based on ls-l, which I don't, understand or I don't know exactly what the what the sorting that it does so I would more use the R when I have specified some kind of a sorting method so for example let's say sort by time which is this is a very common thing I want to look at the most recent files so first of all sort by time let's see that by itself so long list sorted by time boom so we can see we can see based on the dates here and actually, there we go. So we see an old file with a year instead of a time. It just says December 22nd and end of the year. So it goes March 3rd, 5th, 10th, and 11th, right? So the most recent file is up here. But if we do, instead of ls-lt, we do ltr to reverse the order. So remember, it, it, this had the oldest file at the bottom, newest file at the top, reversing the order. Now we have the oldest file at the top and the newest file at the bottom. So that's what the R does. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a reverse of the sorting order. So another way we can sort, and we'll do the same. Uh, well, let's do it without the reverse. Let's just do another sort. So instead of a dash L, and let's keep it simple. I'm not going to keep combining these options. J just know that you can combine these options together, right? Now, what I want to do right now is I want to sort by size. So we can do a ls-t, and that's going to sort by size. Now, we do want to, at a minimum, add the dash L, because sorting by size, I mean, yes, this is nice. This is sorted by size. But since I can't see the size, it's kind of a, maybe not the way you want to do it. So I would do a dash LT. So we're getting the long list, which has the file sizes listed. And then we're doing it by, by we're sorting it by the sizes. So the largest files we have at the bottom. Now, one thing we want to do here, so that's LT. All right, so now what we want to do here, actually, I apologize. I apologize. Um, I'm giving you wrong information here, and hopefully you guys are paying attention. I was actually testing to make sure you guys didn't fall asleep on me. So I did the same thing the second time. T is for time. We know that already, right? So what I meant to do was actually to type in S for size. So now we're going to get the list sorted by size. So we see the largest file is at the top, smallest file is at the bottom. And, of course, we know we can reverse this order by adding the R option. 
So now we have the largest file at the bottom, smallest file at the top. Now, notice these file sizes are they just in bytes, so it might be helpful to get it in human readable format. So let's add another option. Let's add H, human readable. So now we can see megabytes, kilobytes, all right? And this is, of course, just in bytes. Okay, so moving along, the other thing we can do is maybe you want to take your, your files, your file listing or directory listing, and maybe put it into a spreadsheet so you need it to be comma delimited. So what we can do here is instead of just an ls-l, we can actually do an ls-m to get a comma delimited list. So now we just, the same thing, we're listing the files and directories, directories in blue, files in green, but it's comma delimited. So this is perfect. I can actually just copy this and paste it right into a comma delimited uh, spreadsheet. So that's pretty cool. Now another option is F, ls-f. We can do ls-f to get some information about the files we're looking at. Now this is not as verbose as the L option which has the permissions and all this mumbo jumbo. Here we just have the asterisk indicating these are actually files versus slash is for the directories. You're also going to see some other things as well. It's going to indicate things such as symbolic links, uh, FIFO, sockets. So it's not just files and directories that are going to be listed here. Now I think if we do a uh, if we do a man ls and we look for the f option okay so I just passed it actually so we want capital F there you go classify so we can see here it shows you all the symbols so you have files directories and I believe this is going to be symbolic links the equal sign is going to be for a socket. So that's a socket right there. And I don't recall what the greater than is for, but this is going to be your FIFO or FIFO. All right. So I think we've covered pretty much uh, most of the standard options that I would use when I'm using the LS command. Uh, the only thing else I would add is if you want to check all the directories. So right now we are in home Carlisle. Let's go back one cd dot dot and now let's do an ls. But this is just going to show me what's in this particular directory, which is just another directory. So what I want to do is I want to add an ls and then I'm going to do a sorry about that ls. I want to add a recursive option. So that's capital R. Now that's going to show me in this directory and the subdirectories. So it's an ls recursive. All right, so there you have it. Now, final thing I want to show you guys before we do a quiz. Actually, let's do the quiz right now. So I want you to tell me what option do I use if I want to sort by size and I want to reverse the order. So sort by size, reverse the order. What's the option? LS dash what? 30 seconds. Go. All right. Hopefully you figure that out. So to sort by size, remember that was going to be ls dash s, right? An L to get the all those details about the files. But ls dash s is the size sort by size. And then to reverse it, we just add a lowercase r. Okay. Now the final thing to note about the ls command is to note that you can also add some additional things to this. So for example, let's go to this directory, tab that out, and now let's get the caps lock off, ls-l, and what did I do? Missing my L there. I'm typing too fast for my own good. So here's our listing. Now we can actually filter this by piping it to the grep command, and I can grep for, say, uppercase M, lowercase u, and that gives me the line that has music. See in red, that's the hit on my search. So you can actually filter your search results by doing things like that. I can also do wildcards. So for example, I could say fix, and then I can say either uh, capital X or R, and then something else, whatever, wildcard. Boom. So that actually, I actually made a little mistake there, and I don't know if you can tell what I did wrong. All right, let me show you a better way to do this. We can do ls-l, 
and then rather than piping to grep let's just do our wildcard pattern search by typing in fix so we're looking for files that begin with fix so one of these and then we want to put in here our capital X or capital R close the bracket asterisk and there you have it so that gives us files list all the files that begin F I X and then have an R capital R or capital X and then whatever else we don't care whatever else is after it so pretty simple so that's pretty much it I think those are those are pretty much all the common LS options that I think you guys should know and um, if this was helpful for you definitely subscribe and uh, you know thumbs up the video that's very much appreciated because it takes a lot of time and effort to do these videos so I really appreciate the support you support you guys make this happen and this is very interactive this is not television we just sit back and watch I really rely on you guys to thumbs up the video subscribe and support the channel so I can be able to do this for you all right thank you for watching have a great day this is Carlisle Speaks Wall Street